What's going on everybody? Josh Cathcart back here at Hardball Academy in Pearland, Texas with Hitting Done Right. For this next video, we're going to discuss proper soft toss and front toss. All right, so many times I see kids that are sped up too much because of their tosser. All right, it seems simple. It's like, oh, I'm just tossing it, but there is a way to go about this. All right, we don't want to get in here and just quick flip people and so they have to end up jumping. I talk about it, I've said it in other videos, don't rush, right? We don't want to rush our hitters. And what I mean by that is in their load phase, we have to maintain the rhythm. And as the tosser, you can help set that rhythm. Starting high, slow drop, and then the toss. If you have a kid that's a little bit faster rhythm, you can be a little bit lower. But when the hand drops is when the body should start moving. Just like a pitcher, when the hands break, we want to get into our load phase, all right? This is extremely important and it's overlooked all the time, especially when kids are working with each other, okay? They'll get in there and just be like, here you go, bud. And we speed the hitter up. Don't speed your guys up, all right? We want to stay slow. We want to be in control of that load move and then be able to explode through the swing. So with soft toss, which would be from the side, and then front toss. We're gonna do two demonstrations here. I got my boy Grayson coming back for this. So y'all hang tight, let's get into this. All right, y'all, so for this first one, this is gonna be soft toss, all right? This is from the side, very common. You see it all over the place. Dads, you know, coaches, players with players and groups, however it is, but learn to do it correctly. We don't want to speed the player up. Don't rush, all right? And by that, what I mean is we can't just be right here and then just quick flip. Give them time to set their rhythm. I'm gonna demonstrate one that's the wrong way, and then we're gonna get into one that is the right way. So here's what you don't want to do. Okay, speed him up. He had no idea, not time to get ready, all right? This would be the proper way. Start with that hand a little higher. As you drop in the rhythm, lets him get set more like his game rhythm with his load and then nice and balanced through. Again, well done. Sure. All right, so don't speed him up. Set that rhythm with the soft toss. All right, so now we're gonna get into front toss. And again, same idea. Don't speed your hitter up. However, with this, everybody's gonna have a little bit different rhythm. So you and the hitter need to have a conversation. Hey. Do I want to be high hand, really slow? Am I going to be a little bit lower hand? Whatever the case is. But on the hand drop is when the load move should start. All right, so you want to stay in rhythm with that and not speed them up. So here we go. Again, wrong one where we come in here and it's just, and he almost seems like you just really rushed to that. There was no load move there, okay? It was like, hey, I just got to go. And that's not what we want. We don't want that emergency, oh crap, I gotta go swing. All right, this is what we do wanna see. Hand high, down, game rhythm, smoke it. All right, I know that this seems very, very elementary, but this is a huge mistake that I see all the time when I go out talking to young players and dads. It's like, oh man, we're just, we feel rushed. We're rushing through everything. Please do not rush. All right, that is the main idea with this. Stay in rhythm, stay calm, stay balanced. All right, the swing works a lot better when it is not rushed. Y'all be good. Hey.